this is my little azola forest I guess now this is a mature azola forest over here so the the water from the plants the plant water goes up to the plants here it drips down and around and let's see if I can go. don't want to drop my phone and drown it oh sorry okay and you end up with this forest of azola so it's only in a tiny amount of water but it ends up like this it's clumps and they just grow up high and this is a new a, a younger one and I made a mistake one day and let the water left the water off and this is enough water here this one here on the rubber mat that it stayed um, you know it just sucked up the water over the course of a day but on this one some of those all dried out and died and uh, you can see it even in this piece some of it dried out and died so um, I think there is probably potential to grow a Zola on rubber mats as a, a potentially for uh, something like gardens you know um, and see it's it's going down this hill here too the zola is so i have this amount of the zola here right now without even i'll harvest some more of it so you have this amount here already and maybe it can work like sphagnum moss um, for uh, growing plants in I haven't tried it yet of course because that's me but just throwing it out like that maybe you can have um, an alternative a homemade alternative to sphagnum moss for um, for growing uh, um, what do you call it? hanging baskets in and that would be neat and the thing see the rubber mat here you can control the amount of water on the rubber mat so you don't have mosquitoes once it gets to the clumpy height you can just uh, you know let the water out for 15-20 minutes or um, see like there's no water in it right now and you can see the plant roots coming from this is just a test run so there's nothing dramatic see the plant roots are coming out into the zola so that means that potentially uh, this whole type of thing you could grow plants directly on the azola or have little small pots directly on top of the azola so there's potential there that hasn't been investigated and that's really that's really i guess what i think my role is to find potential ideas that people might get around to investigating at some stage thank you i uh, hope that's of use and here's <coughs> Here's potential ha hanging back half a hanging basket of it. I'd get a, a whole basket full if I harvested my azola. And normally, when this stuff is outside, it's a kind of a uh, um, it's reddish color. But in the greenhouse, I guess we have the ultraviolet coming through or that uh, gets stopped by the um, the glass. Uh, it's it's white or sorry green. Anyway, I better shut up now. Thanks.